Okay, our beloved, so we are going to build on yesterday's message of being, being firm when others overextend. When people breach your boundaries or otherwise take advantage of you, your past energetic imprint was to do one of two things, to be a victim or the abuser. And now we are saying you don't have to be either. The fact is when somebody overextends their This is very difficult to energetically describe. When people take advantage of you or run over your boundaries or make you feel lesser than intentionally, whether it be in the grocery line, at work, at home, in a friendship relationship, in the past you guys played a particular role. You either got snarky and defensive, or you got passive and permissive. And we're telling you that is no longer the energy. We want each of you to be whole and complete. And what that means is when somebody overextends what they are permitted to do in your world, you will at that moment let them know this is inappropriate. Now we will give you an example of a puppy. If you have a puppy that comes into your home and it is playful and does not know the expectations or the rules of living within your home, and this puppy comes up and bites you in the ankle or bites you in the hand or poops on the floor or scratches at the door, will you allow that? Hopefully no, because you will be giving the puppy um, unrealistic expectations of what it is to be a grown dog. When puppies grow up with their moms, they are reprimanded lovingly, but they are reprimanded, letting them know what is acceptable and what's not. And you are now to be the alpha dog in the puppy's life. So you too are expected to discipline this dog but you are not expected to kick the dog across the room or smack it on the head with a rolled up newspaper for a small infraction, no. You are also not uh, expected to allow the dog just to run roughshod over you because that creates a dog that is dangerous in a public setting because this dog does not know how to engage with others because there never have been any boundaries or rules that have been established. It is the same now. As you move into this age of Aquarius, you are to a certain extent to see everybody else as a puppy dog that comes into your world and does not know what the rules of your home are. So no, if somebody is rude to you, you do not just simply sit back and take it. You give a gentle reprimand. And if that reprimand is ignored or overlooked, then you step it up to the next reprimand level and so forth and so on. So see, it is a scale from one to 10. The first reprimand is a two, the next one is a three, the next one is a four. Why do we not start at a one? Because oftentimes ones are almost unnecessary because they're so minor. So we ask you to start at a two and work your way up to a 10. And when you begin to do this with a loving heart, not an angry or a vengeful heart, but an uh, a loving heart, you will find an energy of loving expectations. And as you all collectively now begin to do this, think about how harmonious this world will be. You will now know what your friends desire from you and will not cause an upset in their world. And they will know the same about you. They will not gossip about you behind your back because you guys will be on the same page. You will see who is a grown-up and who's not because if you start with a number two reprimand 
and they bark at you and uh, get angry and bite you, then you realize this one's going back to the pound. I don't have a duty nor a responsibility to tend to everybody's needs. So you simply set those people who do not willingly comply with your expectations outside of your fence. You do not have a duty or an obligation to be nice to everyone or to anyone for that matter. You now love yourself more than others, and we mean really love, not ego love, but a soul love, where you're willing to invite and engage with others, but only from that place of loving acceptance of who you are first. And if people cannot respect and honor you, you do not need to make room for them in your lives. It is a harsh line for many of you because you have been so passive and permissive. But in order to get to this place of wholeness, you need to incorporate and envision a world where the lion and the lamb cohabitate within your body. You are permitted to speak up lovingly, and you are also permitted to just be love. Because at the end of the day, it simply is love. A mama lion reprimands her babies. A mama wolf reprimands her babies, as does the daddy. And not only that, but honestly, all of those within the community, within the wolf community, because they need to all have the same basic ground rules of community in order to survive and function in this cruel world where the weakest are picked off. The community needs to create a construct where everybody knows their role. Some are leaders, some are support team, some are the weakest one, some are the young ones who are the future leaders. Everyone has their role. No one is greater than, no one is lesser than, but everyone must be trained up to know what their function is within their community. And this is where we are bringing you all now, to this beautiful new place of community where you only allow in those people who comply with your social norms and standards, which are loving, compassionate, creative, collaborative effort. And if people are rude and condescending, they're simply not permitted within your community, and they can be loners or outliers fending for themselves. You no longer have a duty or an obligation to save everyone, only those who wish to save themselves. And those who don't, from the quote-unquote Darwin way, are best to die off because they have ways and means that do not support a healthy community. And they can fend for themselves. And if they feel that they are willing to comply with the community standards, you can bring them in again and give them another chance. But if they are not willing to agree to be part of a community that is loving and respectful, then you just simply set them outside of the gates of your compound and allow them to find their own way. You have time and effort for those who are willing to put in their own time and effort into becoming the best version of themselves. And the rest we naturally need to die off because their genes their energy is no longer supportive of where we are going. It is no different than thousands of years ago where the weakest in other form simply died off. It is the way of the world. It is the balance of nature. You still see it out in the Serengeti now where the weakest just are left behind. But the weakest now will not be those who are physically the weakest. It will be those who are not willing to be part of your community construct. And it's not like you are literally killing them. You are simply saying 
there is no room for you within our community. You can give them maybe three or four tries, but there comes a point where their behavior, their patterns are uh, very clear and you just simply say, no, thank you. Put your time and your effort into those who are interested in growing and communicating in loving and healthy ways. So we know that this is very challenging for many loving and kind people who do not care for this construct, but we are telling you this energy is coming in. You can deny it. You can reject it as much as you'd like. But with time, you will realize that this is the natural frequency and how the balance of the universe will begin to function now. It is the Sapolsky solution to humanity's problem. You simply permit only those who will play by kind, loving rules into your community or tribe. And the rest can band together if they'd like outside or just be their individual lone islands where they function on their own. But you will no longer offer your time, your love, your effort, nor your resources because they are literally an energetic drain on your community's ability to support itself. Put your time and your effort in those places where you will reap the greatest rewards for your investment. See, it's similar to Wall Street. Where do you get the biggest bang for your buck? And so it is. Namaste.